Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to create a really simple balloon text effect in Adobe Illustrator. This doesn't require you to download any sort of texture packs or presets. Everything is already built into Adobe Illustrator. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements, which is my favorite place for any sort of template, whether that's for Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, even the new Shopify website I'm building right now. There are templates for everything, and all you have to do is subscribe to their plan, and you get unlimited downloads to hundreds and thousands of templates for different programs. I've been using that for a while now, and I would definitely recommend it. Click the link in the description to learn more. So right here, we're in Adobe Illustrator, and the first thing we're going to do is type in our text. So I'm going to go and type in a number. Usually you'll see this for like a birthday party and you'll see it with a relatively like tall font. So I'm gonna go to window, type in character so I can actually change the font. So I'm gonna change this to Kaluna and then there we go. And I'm gonna choose the rounded version of this because balloons are round. So there we go. Next, you wanna find 3D and materials. This is where we're gonna create the texture and material. So you wanna have the selection tool on and select your text, go over to effect 3d and materials and then go over to inflate so this will basically create like the 3d effect so turn this text into 3d similar to like a balloon next we're going to go over to material and there are default ones already so there's two that you can use gold leaf fold and gold natural one has a little bit more uh, texture to it so if you go over to gold natural you can see exactly how this looks like you can also go ahead and change the color of the balloon although typically it's yellow but you can see you can change it to purple or whatever you want. Let's just keep it with purple. You also have the option to change the smooth surface. So you can see as you decrease it, there's like more texture to it. This could be good for like a more realistic look if you are looking to do something like that. And if I just go back and forth, you can see the difference between these two textures. You can see they definitely look a little bit different. But I'm going to go ahead and change this back to purple. Next, we're going to go to lighting and we just want to select standard. And then you also want to go to shadows and possibly move the shadows so that they're on the left side. This doesn't look too good unless you have like a colored background, but if you have a white background, it doesn't look too good. But basically as you move the light, the shadow changes, which makes sense. You can also change the intensity of the light, the height of the light. So you can almost create like a long shadow effect by uh, decreasing the height and also how harsh the light is with the softness. And you can also add some sort of ambient light as well, which is just light across the entire text. But here you can see this looks really nice. I'm actually gonna change this to the number 24. And possibly we can make this a little bit brighter. And then I'm gonna change the back and then I'm gonna create a rectangle. That's the color yellow. Go over to our layers and move this at the bottom. And now we have the number 24 for Kobe. Uh, this is like an example of something I would possibly use it for. You could see the height does get cut off though. So maybe don't put the height all the way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to check Envato Elements in the link in the description if you're looking for different templates. They do have similar text effect templates that you can find on their marketplace. You can also get the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite for over 60% off if you are a student or teacher. So make sure to check that out as well. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.